welcome back to the Coatings Corner. In this video, we're going to apply epoxy, polyaspartic, and polyurea again. However, this time we're going to roll all three out late, like five minutes after the end of their respective working times. So for epoxy, we'll roll them out at 30 minutes, polyurea, 25 minutes, and polyaspartic, 30 minutes. Applying coatings too late can result in failure because the coatings may heat up or thicken up, causing visual and physical characteristic changes. When applied properly, the PSI results were all very similar and very high, like 1,000 plus PSI. It will be interesting to see if we get different results this time, so let's head out to the coatings corner and put them to the test. For each area, we rolled out the right half as normal then waited until five minutes beyond the coating's stated working time before rolling out the left half. Okay, all three coatings have been allowed to dry for seven days. These are the coatings that were applied at the end of their working times. So we're gonna glue the dollies to them and let that dry for 24 hours and then we'll be back tomorrow to do the pull tests. Again, this test measures the force required to peel the coating from the concrete. Or, when the coating bonds well, the concrete itself will fail and break first. Here the posi tester malfunctioned, so this data point is not meaningful and will be excluded from the final results. The posi tester was reset and recalibrated for the next reading. Here you can see the roller lines between the left and right halves of each area, more so in the polyurea and polyaspartic. The left sides, which were rolled out too late, are a bit lighter in color. Okay, let's review the results. Here are the average PSI readings of the coatings that were applied five minutes past their working times. Even when applied five minutes too late, after the stated working times, all three coatings bonded very well. They all have high PSI readings. In fact, all of them resulted in concrete failure except for one where the tester failed. So again, Good coating adhesion is typically considered to be at or above 400 PSI. The PSI of the late working time applications did decrease, but not very much. Polyspartic decreased the most, but it still had a 991 PSI. I have to admit that I thought the results would be much lower than this. One contributing factor could be that the room temperature when we applied these coatings was 63 degrees compared to the 75 degrees that's on the technical data sheet. Colder temperatures generally increase working times. Also keep in mind that high humidity does shorten the working times for polyaspartic and polyurea. I think we should try to test these again, uh, but maybe wait until 10 or 15 minutes after the stated working time to see if we get different results. Again, for a deeper dive into the differences between these three coatings, check out Chris Boxmeyer's article on our website, and I hope to see you again soon.